For this video, we're going to take a look at non-polynomial functions. So these include trig functions, as shown here, as well as the exponential and logarithmic functions. So if you're not familiar with these, I would go back and review some of your algebra with the trig functions and the exponential and log functions. Uh, there's not too much to talk about here because these are just rules that you should memorize. You can go through and derive them, but I'm not going to do that on this video for shortness. The key thing here is to learn how to use these. So let's just take, you know, so let's say someone asks you, what is the derivative of 3 cosine of x? Okay. Well, the first thing you can do, you'll notice you can use the constant multiple rule and you can kind of remove this 3 from the derivative of the rest of the function, right? So we remove that 3 from it and now we take the derivative of cosine. Well, then we're going to come over here and we're going to see, we're going to look at our table and look at each one of these. And ah, here's the derivative of cosine. So the derivative of cosine results in negative sine. So all I have to do is then just write down sine of x and boom, that derivative's done. So to simplify that, that'd be minus three times the sine of x, okay? So let's look at a different example. It's easy, right? Um, let's do something that you, that you might think is really difficult. f of x equal, so in algebra you don't see five times secant of x a lot, right? But in calculus, it's, it's kind of easier because we can use this lookup table if you haven't memorized. So again, I'm gonna remove this five, multiply, and now I'm gonna look for the derivative of the secant function. So there's sine, tangent, cotangent, cosine, boom, secant. Secant of x, the derivative of secant of x equals secant of x times tangent of x. So I simply write secant of x times tangent of x. So it's not that hard to deal with some of these more complex functions in calculus in terms of taking uh, derivatives. You can play the same game with these guys. Now you might ask what happens if this is not x inside here. And that will be an issue that you can't solve here, and we'll talk about that in a future video. That's called chain rule, and we'll look at that later. Um, so let's do a couple examples of the exponential. So e to the x, it comes up a lot. It's pretty cool. Its derivative is itself. So anytime you have to take the derivative of e to the x, its derivative is just itself. So it's probably the easiest one you're going to learn other than uh, a derivative of a constant. Okay? Uh, ln of x becomes 1 over x, so that's a little weird. So let's say, let's say if someone gives you f of x, and this, this will most likely happen, um, x to the fifth, and they ask for the derivative. Well, you might say, hey, it's not x inside, I don't know how to answer that. And you actually do because you can do an algebraic trick where you can actually move this 5 down and... So f of x, just by algebra, becomes 5 ln of x. And now you can use the constant multiple rule to get your, to move the 5 away. Multiply by the derivative of ln. Well, the derivative of ln is given here. Derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. So you get 1 over x. Simplify, you get 5 over x. So you should, you know, just mix them up and figure out how to use these rules. Um, this one's a little more interesting. So if you have log base 12 of x and you want the derivative of this, follow this rule here and you'll get 1 over x ln of a and a was the base, so the base here is 12 ln of 12. Done with that. So go ahead and practice a few of those. These will keep coming up again and again. These should all be memorized, completely memorized. Thank you.